Welcome to another episode of FinTech Focus TV with me, Toby Babb. Today we are live in London at the Fixed MEA Trading Conference, a day of amazing conversations, none more so than this one with this man, Mark Davies from S3. Mark, Toby, how are you doing? Great to see you again. <laughs> Listen, um, really excited to have this chat. Um, you guys are on, on a panel later on. You've yep. got your stand over there, which is always one of the liveliest stands at these, these events. Yes. Uh, for many different reasons. Right, we like to have a good time. <laughs> um, but great to have you over here. Um, tell us a little bit about S3. So S3 is a regulatory reporting vendor. Uh, we do post-trade analytics as well as a number of best execution, surveillance, you know, broad regulatory reporting services across, you know, across the world really, right? We do a lot uh -huh. primarily in the US, but we've expanded recently to Europe and, and, and the world, like I said. When you say the world, it's uh, one of my favorite hashtags on LinkedIn is, uh, is on the road again with S3 where you see you and your team all over, literally all over uh, yes, the world. Yes. I don't think there's a more well-traveled business in the universe, <laughs> is there? Hey, that, that might be the case. In <laughs> fact, right now we have people uh, at at least two different events around, maybe three, so we're... Uh, but I guess that's exactly the point of what you're talking about. Look, this is, a, this is a period of massive change in regulation all over the world. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of solutions that are needed within, within that arena. You guys have been at the forefront of that. I think that RegTech's been one of those spaces that's sort of, sort of uh, seen massive growth and also some sort of you know, challenges within the market over the course of the last couple of years. But you guys have gone from strength to strength, right? Yeah, actually, it's, um, you know, you mentioned the, the regulations right now are certainly in the US unprecedented speed. Uh, you know, someone mentioned to me a few uh, last year actually said, you know, you, you really had the foresight, because S3 has been going for almost 20 years, yeah. and sort of recognizing that regulatory software was going to be a, a hot button item. You know, we didn't know 20 years ago that it was going to be here, but it's, a, you know, it's, uh, it's good to be able to provide solutions to the market so that there's not a, you know, so that they're not in a, in a position of difficulty and, and you know, not yeah, yeah. able to comply with regulations. So it's interesting you say that. So it's like you can you could have uh, quite easily taken the crowd and a visionary there and seen it ahead of time and <laughs> know right. what the markets were doing and saying, yeah, it was always our plan. We knew what was coming. <laughs> but that's, that's very humble of you to say, to say <laughs> yeah. that was the case. Right? You know, well, we've gotten lucky a few times. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, lucky generals, as Napoleon said, isn't it? <laughs> right. um, you're on a, on a panel later on talking yes. about keeping markets moving. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about what, what, what some of the takeaways that you'll be bringing yeah, yeah. to that. So the panel is going to focus on uh, a variety of things that, that can halt markets, right? Um, in Europe, of course, their trading venue failures is a big one. Uh, that doesn't apply so much in the States because of Reg NMS. Um, we're going to look at cybersecurity and how the regulators are dealing with that. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, sort of most disruptive event that we've seen in the U.S. in the past few years, which of course is the meme stock craze, uh, most notably with GameStop, yeah. um, and the regulator's response to that. Yeah. So, so the regulator has, the SEC has basically put out a th what we call the four pillars, which have been the four pillars of market regulation uh, to address, you know, really to address that. Um, and in fact, they, they've proposed them, and yesterday they announced uh, rule 606, which is the order disclosure rule, and that's basically an execution quality rule. So um, that's something that S3 will be participating heavily in um, and providing to a, you know, a substantial percentage of the market. And then with regards to the rest of the panel and what you think is going to come out of it, what do you think some of the sort of meta trends are, that are um, or the opportunities, I guess, in that sort of space are to, to, you know, to do that and to keep on moving further forward? Yeah, I think, um, I think a big key is, is really uh, making sure that the information is available to regulators and to the industry to be able to rectify when problems happen. Yeah. Uh, you know, we will discuss uh, the flash crash, right? The recent flash crash in the Nordics. Yeah. Um, and of course, the flash crash in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, in 2010, which was the basis of uh, consolidated audit trail, yeah. which is you know comparable sort of to um, transaction reporting. Uh, which is a service that S3 provides, yeah. both of those. And um, I think that's a, that's a big part of, of ensuring resilience is being able to quickly identify the causes of the problems and, and therefore rectify them. Because we can't, much like myself 20 years ago, I didn't know this was going to happen, we can't predict everything that might, might cause uh, an interruption to the markets. Mm. And so being in a position to quickly identify and adjust to that, uh, I think is very important. And tell me about you know, the audience here. It's such a wide community, isn't it? Yeah. The, the fixed community. Yeah, so many yeah. different people, people around here. 
who are you speaking to, how are you helping them, who do you want to get in touch with today? Yeah, I mean, so our, our target is generally the sell side. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the buy side has a lot of service providers that, you know, they, they do use a lot of our services, but we have found that, um, you know, sell side brokers, uh, dealers, exchanges all use our tools to help them uh, comply with the regulations and uh, and also help them communicate with their client base mm. to showcase you know showcase their capabilities as well as uh, show their compliance with regulations. And these events, as I say, look, we see you literally all over the world at various <laughs> different phases yeah, of the yeah. team. Um, tell me about that sort of that sort of process. I mean, it is gen you know, you're based in the states, as we, as we said beforehand, yeah. but it's a genuinely global solution. Yeah, um, especially when you're looking at so many different areas of regulation at that sort of stage right. to stay current like that. Yeah, point. I mean, so you know, we we started in the U.S. Um, regulation became something that. Uh, you know, like I said, order disclosure, that sort of thing became became a big part of it. Um, working with our clients, we we sort of discovered a need uh, around the world, and and with several you know several large bank clients, said, hey, we need these these capabilities around the world. So we built those out, and then once those were built, we were in a position to say, well, you know, you're not the only bank that needs this. Let's you know come to events like this, and uh, you know other events in Europe. Spread the gospel. Yeah. And tell me about the, uh, you know, it's, it's been a, a hell of a journey for you in the business. We have, as you say, the 20 years, but I, think, I feel like the last few is where we've really sort of seen you land yeah. on the map and get that, that sort of traction. What does 2024 look like? What's exciting for you? What's exciting for the business? I mean, one of the difficulties in running a regulatory business is you no, can't very well yeah, say I'm excited yeah, about the yeah. new regulations. Uh, but um, you're excited about the solutions. Though. I'm excited by, <laughs> about providing solutions to clients yeah, yeah. who need these new regulations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the plans are to continue to grow the business. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, I think uh, uh, you know I think over the next several years, regulation is is not going down. Mm -hmm. Right. Regulation is going to continue to increase. Uh, we may see market events that, like I said, we didn't predict, and new regulations will come out to, to support those. Uh, you know, S3's plan is to be right there, ready to help uh, help everybody comply. And keep the markets moving, as, yeah, the, uh, exactly. as, the, as the panel says. <laughs> Mark, I wish you very best of luck with that. Thank you very much, Toby, sure appreciate it. Smash it. Uh, lovely speaking to you, and lovely to have you on the show. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and we will see you soon on the next episode of FinTech Focus TV. Thanks a lot. Thank you.